So this might be a little controversial. What do you guys think about a light bar right about there? trolling you guys I'm not putting a light bar on the M3 today is gonna be kind of an interesting day there's a bunch of different things going on uh, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is taking this Jeep to uh, the shop that actually did the lift and tires on it and I want them to take a look at it because the suspension just does not seem as good as it was initially like I remember feeling a huge difference when I got the shocks and everything like that but it still seems a little more floaty than kind of I want it to be and the second thing I want them to look at is tires as well because they seem to be either wearing funky or the other shop and a few of my friends said it seems like you're getting some feedback in the steering even after an alignment even after the tires are balanced and uh, it's not Jeep wobble or anything like that, but it just seems excessive. So we're gonna have the shop look at that. And also, I met a new friend at uh, BMW Car Club of America. So there will be, hopefully, some M3 related things. So guys, if you are not interested in this Jeep, you can always try to fast forward the video because... <laughs> guys can tell see the steering wheel let me let go of it it's jiggling I don't know if you can even see if it's jiggling but you can feel feedback uh, in the steering wheel especially at highway speeds I'm going like 65 which is actually about 70 because uh, <laughs> of the tires I feel really stupid that I didn't really think about this, but as you guys know, I do have spacers on my Jeep, and you are supposed to torque them down every so often. I forgot to torque down the spacer. So you have, we kind of talked about this earlier, you have this that has Bluetooth, and the issue is when you put this inside of the cabinet to connect with the phone, it loses connection because of the metal cabinets. So if there's a solution for that, maybe someone can comment. And Matt does comment from time to time. So this is totally garage related. Um, kind of cool to see the vision kind of transformed into another garage, which is amazing. This is, this is great. I mean, this is probably almost better than a regular five car because you have so much more space and the high ceilings over here. Um, as we were talking about, but tell me about the floor. So we didn't talk about the floor yet because in the pictures It looks a lot more rough. It's pretty rough. I mean if you if you actually put the um, You know the camera along the, the bottom of it. Yeah. you can see you know um, It's a polyurea, but I'm kneeling on it and it so it's, it's really not bad It's it's a little nicer than concrete to kneel on probably but you wouldn't want to do it for very long. It's, a, it's yeah. got a rubberized thing to it. And it's really, it's very grippy, but it's not too grippy. So when we, we had the guy come in and do it, um, it's a, and this would be the kind of project that I would normally mm -hmm. do myself, but I, I just, the guy spent four and a half hours grinding to get in everything ready as far right. as the prep. I'm actually kind of interested in this one. What is, what's the story on the... That's your car. <laughs> so we had a uh, 2004 Mini S when they... Um, and this is a manual? First, when they first, yeah. Wow. And it was a manual. I can't believe it's... Can I open the door? Is it on left? Yeah. And 190,000? Yeah. This thing is... This thing is really... I mean, you can tell that... Have you owned it since... miles to the gallon. Oh, wow. That's amazing. And it's... Oh, what year? What year? 05. 05. It smells nice. It smells like Mercedes in here. Yeah. Kind of like crayons. They always smell a little bit like crayons to me yeah. for some reason. Wow. Yes. 
So that's the, that whole um, leatherette thing. Yeah. You know, it, the only part that shows wear is that it's got leather seating surfaces, mm -hmm. so it's got the crease. But the bolsters and all this stuff, there's not a spot on the. No, bolster. it doesn't even look like anyone gets in and out of these seats. It's, it's so clean. It's, you know, that's so. This is. So this isn't had, your daily. No, it's hers, and we we both yeah. had it for. You know, had it forever. And did um, you buy brand new, or you bought it certified? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so you've been. Yeah. Pretty much taken care of. The only thing is the clear bar, man. I want you to take care. This is like, I can't believe that someone like you allows that to be acceptable. It comes, it comes in time, everything. I'll everything detail the brake rotors, but. You know. Yeah, but you won't deal. Yeah, this is a bigger pain in the butt than that, than the rotors. It's just, I'm, <laughs> I think I'm just. Dumb. So this is your daily driver. Oh nine. Okay, so this is the M54 engine, right? Yeah. And it has the. I actually had those were the wheels I had. Yeah, it's an M Sport. On mine, I did get some VMRs just because I wasn't in love with them. They yeah. were nice. They were definitely the nicer ones. We have to talk about the one M over here. Sixty five hundred miles. <laughs> This is something that even you said you bought. You didn't even anticipate it going up in value, but amazing spec, manual. Do you have that stitching? Yeah. Is that orange? Red? Yeah. Red. It's orange. Well, it's red. It looks... It does, I think, yeah, it does it's look orange. orange is the, is the oh, Alcantara boot. So is this something you can get from BMW? Like the stitching and then the... It's the only way it came. Oh, okay. So I didn't these cars, um, 2011 only, yeah. 740 of them brought into the U.S. Um, white, orange, Alpine white, black, and that was oh, it. Oh, even here. And um, oh man, none of them sunroofs. This one is yeah, um, slick top. If you go by VIN and options and all that stuff, it's one of two, like made just like right. this. So it's got um, no nav. Right. Um, it's got power seats. Some people will argue that it's not. Yeah, my, mine are manual. You sit a little lower. It's a little wider. Me, I don't really care about <laughs> the lower part. And, yeah. Um, actually, I kind of like some of the, the features, like the whole, um, you know, like the, the LED underneath. Right, the right, right, right. And stuff like yeah. that. Um, folding mirrors and stuff so you can code it to, to do. To do that when you lock it and stuff, yeah. So that stuff was, was worth it to me. Realistically, I never raced a car, so it's... Not right, yeah, there's a certain point where you're like, the convenience outweighs like the, quote, it's benefit of what... It's not top, but it's, it's enough that it's kind of... But that's not why you bought it, like you said. No, so. so yeah, this thing's on the trickle truck. Dude, this thing is... So are these... Did you put these in, or is that how... Okay, so that's what looks aftermarket, I was gonna say, but yeah. man, this engine bay is clean. Yeah, it looks it looks brand new. I mean, it honestly makes so my stuff car look like um, like the charge pipe, for example. So, yeah, you know, it's well, I did a charge pipe on my three thirty five because they they crack they very easily, very um, easily. You know, the, that one did, and it so failed. this is it, right? So this, this is pipe, yeah, it's right? an Evolution Raceworks, but it's been powder coated to match, same color, texture, all that as the factory brackets mm -hmm. and stuff. So it looks OEM again, OEM plus. The tile block was right. like, like pink or something, so it kind of, you know, blends. <laughs> it works, blends yeah, in. yeah, 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 no. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it looks Gosh. stock. We have to go for a ride at some point. Yeah. I've never been in, a, in one of these, like, yeah. driving. I've never been in it's, one, it's I know. It's not, honestly, it's not that different than, you know, a, a normal, like, 135. Um, you said the wheels will spin in third gear on the highway, though. Yeah, and you <laughs> So it's a little different. <laughs> so let's go on to this one.
if you don't mind. I, I love it. It's like every car, and to be honest with you, I was looking, because I can't help it, I was looking for swirls. Yeah, no, I'm not finding any. <laughs> 5,400 miles, 1987. Um, is this a 325? 325. Yeah. IS. Been okay. In our family since day one. Um, so did you buy it? Was this handed was down? Dad, yeah, it was my dad's. Wow. And this was the car that got me into cars. So when I was Noah's age, um, this is the car I would sneak into and nobody was watching and yeah. kind of sitting there and shift the gears and, and stuff. This is what kind of started it all. Dang. And so you haven't. So it hasn't been driven a lot. It's inspired without being beat on and driven and abused. Yeah, so my so dad always a... a faculty lot with a dorm. Okay. And um, the problem with that is you get a mix of both different cars and different perspectives. Of right. Important cars yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Um, he came out one day and there was a beat up car. He parked it way out in the back of the... the <laughs> That's how it always goes where you park far away and then someone, some junker parks next to you. So close he had to get in from the passenger side and crawl over. After that he was like, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want the stress, I don't want to think right. about it. He bought a 84 Topaz and... Just drove the crap drove, out of it? Drove that and then this, this just, just sat uh, around from storage garage to storage garage. Yeah. Just, you know, the collection kind of got bigger and... Um, I like how it has the sticker, protect your, yeah. <laughs> use genuine parts. Even like the fuse, I mean that's, yeah, that's high, high attention to detail. It, you know, it was, it was good, but the car is 32 years old, so it, um, you know, just kind of the wear and tear mm -hmm. just from being exposed to... Yeah, I mean they're, they're 30 year old grommets and 30 year old rubber pieces and 30 year old I, everything. I got it ready for the Arthritis Foundation show. It's BMW's featured mark, 35th yeah. um, and um, 100th anniversary. And so I went through and did everything full on. It sort of being motor out. I mean, so all of the, the hats, everything was detailed. And when you start doing that, you know, you've got things like um, the seam sealer and, yeah. and then the, the paint over it and you got to be extremely careful about that because you get in there not paying attention and you hit whatever, something or break you something. zing that and you knock the paint off that top of that yeah. you're never getting it back <laughs> and so when you when you think about that you know you you've got to pace yourself mm -hmm. on, on this thing you can't just go in on a saturday right. and expect you're going to knock it all out because yeah i mean I probably had 80 hours in just the motor. Right. And But it's delicate. It's not like an, even like this. I mean, this is pretty quick job. You know, it's clean to begin with and there isn't any brittle plastics that you're dealing with here. Yeah. yeah. Dang. No, this is, this is something else, man. I okay, have my um, rear valence from, you know, it's a German aftermarket thing. Um, yeah, and the wheels are... I mean, either refinished or brand new. They, I, I bought them uh, two years ago from the dealer. Okay. Um, 15, 15 inch, these things. Before they nice. go in LA. And that's, that's been a problem, is it these things that you really want to buy. Um, they're unavailable or you can't get them? You finally, finally <laughs> bring yourself to do it and they're no longer available. It's, it sucks. Yeah. Um, because the car doesn't get driven much, you know? Right. $386 in gas over its entire <laughs> Is that including inflation or just total yeah, total like cost? <laughs> it's so little. It's easy. I've probably spent three hundred in two months on the Jeep. Yeah, <laughs> gas. Crazy, crazy number. More in batteries. Than yeah. Than yeah. I mean, so you talk about the old cars feeling smelling like crayons. This doesn't. This actually smells like what it does in in nineteen eighty eighty seven. Yeah. It's a blast from the past, man. Oh, I love the detail, like the shifter. That's so cool with the like the M thing. Seats are great. Yeah, they have since I've had it, leather reek and stuff on it. Oh so yeah, it's, yep. It's all, um, you know, it's all in good shape, and it doesn't see sun. I mean, yeah. now it doesn't at least. Yeah. Here, yes, no. Here's my favorite: is the mechanical yeah. button to open trunks. Is yeah. it's you actually press it in, and I know that sounds really simple, yeah. but like it's this, it's, that. it's that is so satisfying. Oh, that's actually a pretty big trunk, <laughs> yeah. it's really deep and wide. Yeah, 
Yeah, this, the satisfaction of the actual mechanism moving, it's not some electronic yeah. thing moving. It's so, it's yeah. just, it's different. It's different. It's truly special, man. So the la la very last car that we're going to so get your... This is, um, <laughs> so I've had this thing, you know, forever. This thing's a freaking monster. <laughs> So this is a car that gets probably the most abuse out of the whole garage. Oh, no question. Okay. And it still looks really good. I mean, so if it's shiny, it's original paint. If it's matte, it's primer. There's so this lot. spoiler is definitely not shiny. The so, spoiler well, that's here, just, right? Yeah, that's Or is this cuz different material? That's just the different. That's just kind of that's just okay. the way they are. They kind of okay. have a, a matte. But like like here, right? See how this yeah, is? this is not it's shiny. Like white this is shiny. Yeah, yeah. Um, because we wanted to hit cones with it and see, you know, what needed. So, like when the you know the filler cracked. Right, right, right. It was like okay, well, you know, it's kind of hard to you know spend a bunch of money on a perfect paint job and you know it's going to get destroyed. So this is also a 325 IS, but it's just heavily modified. Obviously. Yeah, so it's kind of nice to have a reference car. Yeah. So this, so it looks like the black one before, right. but now it looks. Totally, but this one's you know, and that's got leather ink on the steering wheel, so it's yeah. all slimy. But, um, no, no. but yeah, I mean, there's a lot of history. You know, the gauges were back from my first car, my old Rabbit. Um. So they really are kind of worthless gauges. I mean, a vacuum <laughs> gauge and a voltmeter, but but then there's a spa gauge up on the top. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Custom shift light and all that fun stuff. And it's extremely, I mean, for like a race car, it's so clean. How about that, guys? That was, uh, Garrick, I gotta thank you so much. Like, we've <laughs> we only met a few times and you're giving me a full tour on video of your garage. Um, I really appreciate it, and honestly, like, the story and the uh, kind of the vision that you have, I mean, we have very similar tastes, as uh, everyone watching this channel can probably already guess, but uh, having a garage like that in my future would be amazing. Thank you so much for showing me the garage and telling me the story and going into depth. I mean, uh, I actually, we hung out a lot longer than I had planned. I had a few other uh, errands to run here, so, uh, but that just shows, you know, it was truly, truly fun. And uh, we did talk about a detailed day uh, for you guys watching. Um, I know you don't, that's the first time meeting uh, my buddy Garrick, but uh, he has background in detailing. If you couldn't already tell by the pristine condition of all the cars uh, and the garage and everything like that. So we're both very, you know, attention to detail and like to keep the cars clean. So we will have to plan something um, maybe at, uh, at his place because the, the garage situation is just over the top. It's amazing and, and growing still. So we'll have to do that very soon. <laughs> <laughs>